database. So data storage, data processing, and data analytics. Okay. And this is the main for OEL AP. Okay. And this is SaaS model. SaaS is nothing but software as a service. No need to install any software or any hardware. Okay. Any software or hardware, the patches, the upgradations, we don't do. Only the service provider will handle all these things. Okay. The service provider will handle. Okay. So these are the basic things you should aware. Okay. And tell me what is our role or job profile? Okay, we are Snowflake developer or Snowflake data engineer. Okay, yeah. so these are the important points. Okay, and same thing. Tell me what are the team members will have. These are the basics. Like we'll see one of this week. Next we'll go for it. Okay. Uh, what are the team members will have? Snowflake developers will be there. Okay, so three to four guys. Depends on junior and the senior roles. Uh, tell me what are the other team members? Uh, so Snowflake admin will be there. Then Snowflake architect will be there. Uh, in a similar fashion, tell me. Testing team, the creative. Uh, any other guys? Uh, any other guys? Uh, that's it. Um, so okay. who will be the requirement? Uh, the requirement? Business. Business analyst. That is BA team. Okay, then BA team, then we are having. So BA, that is business intelligence. Then ETL team. AWS or Azure team. So DevOps team. There are so many teams will be there. Okay, so like, okay, probably will be like, okay, 8 to 10 players will be there. Okay, so DevOps team, the team lead. Okay, the project manager, okay, client, the scrum master, okay, this all the guys will be there, okay. Uh, tell me similarly, okay, see so how the work will come to us? Hmm, come to us. So what tool? Hmm, ticketing tool? Zira. Zira tool. Zira. Okay, so Zira is a ticketing tool. Okay, so these are the basic things you should be aware of it. Okay, same thing now. What happened? Mainly Snowflake is for what is the scope of your project? If anybody has no, so mainly we are data about migration. So data migration project. So what exactly will migrate? So database object. Okay, see in phase one we try to migrate tables. Okay, how many tables? Five ten tables. Huh? Minimum how many tables will be there? More than 500 tables. So 500 plus tables will be there. Okay. Same thing. What about phase two? What will migrate in the phase two? Views. So views. So views will also like 200 plus will be there. Okay. So what about next one? Phase three, which will try to migrate? Procedures. So UDFs and the procedures. Procedures. Okay. So we'll have like, okay. Same thing. Now what happened? Now tell me how long your project is going, okay, or how long your project is there. Uh, tell me if anybody has now. You can say how many months or how many years, anyone, approximately. Two to three years. So, so two to, so we can say one to three years. Okay, so depends on the project, okay. And same thing, what are the database instances we are having in a project? Instances are database environments. Uh, anyone? Devin, uh, Devin so then, test then, then. So test then. UAT. Okay. Pre pro prod. Okay, SIT, pre pro prod. Okay, so uh, sometimes sandbox. Okay, so these are the basic things you should aware. Okay, company to company. So it so it will be there. And the prod. So, middle, some, so many things like it is more than more like sensitive data. So many environments like it. mostly development, testing, and production data. So, production is admit, so live data. So, end user or a client are using the application. So, same thing. Now, what happened? So, see similarly. Now, how can we 
communicate with the snowflake. Uh, tell me, how can you communicate with the snowflake? Through SQL. Through SQL. Okay, SQL is nothing but say structured query language. Uh, tell me again, these are divided into SQL comments or languages or statements. statements. Are important in basic, basic building, building blocks. Building blocks of SQL. Okay, see what are those things called as? Hmm, what are those things? What are the things? DDL, DML. Okay. So DDL, DML, TCL, TCL, DRL, DRL. And a DCL server. So, okay, so when you know the answer, try it because no introduce no directly. If you are not, it will be difficult. Okay, see, try to say when you know the answers. Okay, so DDL said data, uh, data word definition language. Okay, so what is DML? Data manipulation language. If you remember, if you know this thing now, okay, so 30% of SQL will be completed. That's what's the point. Okay, see, so definition language. Manipulation language, uh, other things the word transaction, transaction. control language. language. Same thing next one is the data, uh, data query, so query or retrieval language. Same thing, this will say data control language. Okay, so these are important, simple, but these are very important. Okay, so without this, we can't able to do further. Okay, we'll see one more time. Uh, tell me what are the details we are having? Uh, details we are having? Create, alter, drop. So create, alter, drop. So create for new database yeah. objects creation. Okay, so what about alter? Modify the, modify the existing database object. Okay, so to modify the definition, to modify the yeah. existing definition. database objects definition, like adding new column. Okay, see so altering, dropping, changing. So same thing. What is drop? Okay, to remove the to remove or delete the table database objects. So to remove database objects from where? From which? From database or data warehouse. Okay, got the point. Huh? So, see, okay, so create it is used to creating. So, all this is the existing database object. So, we should do modification. Drop is nothing but what? So, it is used to drop. Okay, so it is used to drop what? It is used to remove or drop from the database objects. Okay, so, okay same thing. Then, in similar fashion, what is DMLs? Hmm, tell me, DMLs. Insert. Data. data manipulation okay. language. Uh, what are the commands we are having? Insert. Okay. okay. Then update. Update. Then delete. Delete. Truncate merge. So truncate and merge. Okay. So insert, update, delete, truncate, merge. We we'll see one by one. Uh, tell me what exactly insert will do. Insert. To insert the new record in the existing table. Okay, used to insert new record uh, from where? From existing table. So first existing table in the existing what? Existing database and the schema should be there. Okay, first we should have database and the schema should be there. One table should be there, then we can able to insert. It is used to insert or populate a new record or populate a new record from an existing table in the existing database and existing schema. Uh, what exactly update will you do? see today? What exactly update will you do? To modify the Mod existing record in the, in the table. To modify the existing record. Okay, sorry. Okay, okay. Same thing, what is delete will do? To remove the record from the table. So to remove the existing record. Okay, so record should be so remember if you have a record, we can able to perform update or delete. Okay, next record. 
what is truncate will do what in to remove the records from the table but definition remove, is available to remove all the records all the records let's see what exactly that okay same thing what is merge will do merge will do okay at the time change data capture no ah oh, that is we'll see this now like okay at the time we can we can insert update and delete okay see based on the condition so based on the condition so remember so based on the condition we can able to perform insert update and delete so one more time so insert is to new record when you have record we can able to perform update or delete separate separately but what happen i want to perform insert update delete at a time will go for merge state what about you see the same thing in snowflake this snowflake concept matter okay see so this is step by step go by one second so we take the table not in stretch And tell me in the database in the schema i want to find list of tables tell me how to find list of tables show tables okay see so show tables okay now what happened what is saying does not exist what is the visual compulsory database ah uh, you not selected the database okay see so what happened now tell me i want to get this database this schema how to get this database this schema Use uh, database. Okay, so we should make sure what is the so by using commands we can able to use. Okay, what are the command? So use database. Our database name is what? COVID DevDB. Same thing. Suppose like I want to find list of databases. How to find list of databases in the data in the in Snowflake code? Current select current database. That will you? No, no. Question is that what uh, select the current database will give what? It will. Uh, what it will give? Uh, Tell me what. The selected one it will give. Okay. You. So answer no. My question is that what in this Snowflake account? Tell me this is what is no site again. I want to find list of databases. How to get list of databases? Simple thing. How to get list of tables? Show tables. Show tables. Same thing. We should go for show databases. Okay. What point? Show data. It will give list of data. So, so okay, see there is no active. Okay, see what happened. Okay, now try to mix up use the COVID DF database. Same thing. Use schema schema. So COVID DF schema. Now see what happened. If I go for show database, see we are getting current data. COVID DF is current data. So this is current. Okay, got the point. Eh? So this is the way you can able to. Now try to exit select stars from like this. Okay. Now, how many cards are there? Totally four cards are there. Four cards are there. Okay. Now, what happens? Suppose, like, okay, I'll execute one statement. Alt session set. Alt documented version false. Okay. So, we'll see later point. Come see what happened. How many cards are there? So, there are totally four cards are there. So, before that, tell me. Okay. So, this details are what? Details are. Auto committable, committable. Okay, in a sense, like what? Once we perform, once we perform any DDL, I tell me any DDL, no need to commit those changes because by default, these changes will get automatically reflected in the database. Got a point. I see details are auto committed. So once we perform data will get automatically reflected in all the sessions in all the data. Simple thing. I'll try to create. Okay. This is important. Listen carefully. So create table something like you. I think. Now what happened? Tell me. Okay. See table created. Okay. So if I see this data selected stars from you. Now tell me create is what statement? Detail DML. DDL. DDL. Tell me in the other session, it will be there or not? So in the new session. Mm, tell me it will be there or not? Available. It will be available because so it's a DDL. Okay, see. Control enter. 
same thing try to uh, tell me i want to add a new column uh, how to add a new column alter or table table add column okay see one one second uh, tell me what is syntax alter table table name table and i i so as a new column now see what happened so this data will get automatically will get second column also because so details are auto committed now what happened now try to insert one record so insert into view values one comma one okay now how many cards will be there in this particular session so this is current session okay see so now how many cards here here one record so what about in other session this is the new session and how many cards will no. be there it will be zero because reason is that what so because so dmls are important so dmls are general database dmls are not auto committable okay so in the sense like what so remember dmls are called as transactions okay so tell me how to control the transaction By using, by using uh, TCL transaction. TCL, that is transaction. So, okay. remember, so DDLs are auto committable, DMLs are not auto committable, DMLs are called as transactions. These transactions explicitly, explicitly needs to control. How can you control this thing? With the help of what? Commit. With the help of transact transaction control language. Like this, you should remember. Okay, see. Okay, now again they went to commit and roll back. Uh, tell me what exactly commit and roll back with them. Mm, tell me. Commit is nothing but see what is control as tell me. What is control as? Saving. Saving what? Saving the data. Saving data what? So, so saving data permanently here. Okay, now if I close this thing, if I open one more time, what happened? So data will be available. So commit is nothing but what? So data we are storing permanently in the database. Got to point us to the database. Okay, suppose like what is rollback? Retrieving the data. Suppose I like I see the one happen. I enter these values. Okay, now I try to. So see, I did not save. Now what happens? So this change will be saved. Like key key. Okay, see it won't be saved because we did not save this data. Got the point? See, commit is nothing but what saving the data permanently where permanently in the database tables. Got the point? What is rollback? Uncommitted data will. Okay, see, suppose like I commit this data. So, commit is nothing but what? So, data will be. See, here only, see, here data is not available because we did not commit the changes only in this particular session only data will be available now i try to commit so that data will be permanently stored in so that data will be visible for all the users and all the sessions see data same thing now try to add one more record then okay okay now see here we get two records here we'll get only the committed data that is only one record now what happened now i try to commit okay we can use commit anywhere try to execute commit now what happens you see in this session now see we get two records two records same thing now what happened try to add one more record under 100 now we we'll get two here three records three records here we we'll get only two records two records now what happened now i try to put a rollback now tell me what exactly rollback will do and how many records will they roll back two or three records, records. Two records. So two what it will do. So two is nothing but what okay. See, so roll back the uncommitted see third record. See, suppose like if you're not able to understand. So this is so this is uncommitted data. Last record is uncommitted. If I roll back now, only the uncommitted data only will get see, see what happened. Not only if I put roll back any impact, there won't be any impact. Okay, see, so roll back is nothing but what okay, uncommitted okay or unsaved data only will be will be reverted back okay. or rolled back okay so the permanent data it won't have any impact so the only the uncommitted changes only will get 
will get reverted back okay or we can able to undo the transaction if data is committed we can't able to do anything got the point huh? next step is that what i want to see the data how can you see the data important that is data retrieval or data like queries. Okay, how to the queries in S in SQL? We we'll go for what statement? Select state. Select, select the statement or select the command or select it. So so select the state. Okay, syntax is that word. Select we we'll see detailly what is it we'll select star from table name. Okay, see select star from table name, which will project all the columns and all the records. Okay, clear so far. Now we'll see one more time. Now what happens? Tell me what is this here. Data, uh, data control language. Data control language. Uh, tell me what is data control language we're having? Grant revoke. We're having grant and revoke. Okay, see, grant and revoke. Okay, so what is exactly anyone grant? We'll discuss that point of time. What exactly? Uh, grant is nothing but what? Okay, so it's a privilege or access to the database object. Okay, so what is revoke? So taking back the privileges. Simple thing, simple example I tried to give. Suppose like, okay, see, after completion of this course, we got Snowflake developer as one job. Okay, see, so you, okay, so you are joining me something like this, okay, so 10 March. Okay, now what happened? They are asking to select your laptop. Now, where we should go? We should go to what? Okay, office campus. Tell me office campus directly we can go. Huh? We should have what? We should have ID and access. Same thing, same thing in database also. If we, if we want to perform, perform, select, insert, update, DDL, what is that? We should have permissions or privileges or access who will use these, these things which come in by using data control so we are asking to see what happened if you want to perform any of any operation like selecting inserting updating we should have the permissions or privileges who will give the permissions or privileges with the help of what with the help of grant and rework suppose like you work for one one year project okay now what happened after one year okay you change to a different project now what happened tell me this permission what i should give I should take back, take back because it's a security reason because we should not have the access. Only the working people or the working project only will have the access to the databases. So once we complete, we can't. So these things, so we'll see so much. Okay, and this this here we'll see in the Snowflake concept. As I now understand, okay, see, as I now understand. So if you want to have the permissions, we should go for grant command. If you don't want, we should, if you revert back, we'll go for revoke, revoke. Same thing, remember, so we're having development testing for all tell me in the production you have the all the access huh? we have what limited access that to what only only what only read access will be there so read access nothing but what what exactly read access will do anyone to use the data modified no read is nothing but selecting the data okay. Okay. selecting data okay so what is read and write Hmm. Tell me, it is not something about what we can able to select. We can able to create new objects, okay, or drop, okay, or we can do anything, okay. So, got the point. Huh? So, see, whereas in tell me, production can have read access and write access, we only will have read access one because the production data. So, for development, we'll have both read and write access, but in the product, we'll have only read access that is for limited access. Got the point huh? a little bit, yes or no? Suppose, see the same thing. Now what's saying? So see, object does not exist or not authorized. What exactly it means? Tell me not authorized in sense like what? You don't have the permissions or privileges. What the point? Huh? So see, getting it? So if you perform update or delete, so we can't have the permissions or privileges. Getting a little bit at least. So you should visualize the okay, case. So first we should have what? Tell me for Snowflake, do we need to install any software or any hardware? No need yes, to install no, 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 no. Snowflake account. Says SaaS model, SaaS model. Uh, tell me how many ways we can able to log into the Snowflake? Uh, how many ways? Snow site. Okay, Snow site. Then? Snow site. Classic console. 
snow side classic cancer and then snow sql snow sql and then next we should have what development database how can you create with the help of ddl that is create statement and next what is it have data base schema so dev schema okay so we should create what with the help of create okay now what we should get our data will be stored in what in the form of uh, tell me in the database how the data will be stored in the form of what tables not tables okay tables, tables, tables are how can you create tables with the help of create that is ddl statement uh, tell me how data will be stored inside tables and rows and columns okay uh, how can you populate data inside in snowflake tables insert insert okay insert is what statement say dm okay now what happened insert dms are called as transactions how can you control these transactions mm, with the help of what tcl tcl no tcl okay so with the help of tcl see tcl see transaction transaction controller that is commit now how can you see this data DRL. So DRL that is select the statement. So before you tell me, if you want to create in anything in the database, what should have? We should have what? Should have grand. Okay, that is DCL. Okay, so first we should have Snowflake account, Snow set, our classic console, our Snow SQL will go for grand. So then, so development database, development schema. Then okay, so table created, inserted. Control with the help of commit and see this is the thing. Okay, see so grant, then create, then insert, commit, and see the data. Okay, so that is okay. Like this way, we should understand. Okay, so DCL, then DDL, then DML, then TCL, DRL. Okay, ultimately, okay, first we should have permissions, new object creation, insertion, controlling, and fetching the data. Okay, see. So grant, create, insert, commit, and select in the data. Got the pointer? Yes, I'm getting a little bit less. So these are the basic things. Okay, so but important. Got the pointer? Yes, I know. Okay, clear so far. Yes, yes, yes sir. So these are the basic things we should be aware of. Okay. So okay, see grant first list of permissions, database objects inserting updating deleting then controlling because dms are not auto committable then fetching the data ultimately i want to see the data with the help of drl that is the thing. okay now what happened now see same thing now we close these topics okay. today we close these things okay now tell me in this database in this schema i want to find list of table go for show tables no tables okay see now what happened i want to see this data tell me how can i see this data how can I see this data? Not tell me by using what? Select so, DRL statement. Come again one more time. So, what is okay. by using DRL the DRL statement? DRL statement is selected. Okay. We'll see tomorrow select completely the filtering process and start it off. See, we're getting like this. Okay. Now what happens? So what's the requirement? So they want to do some modification. So do the task, okay, one or two ways only doing, okay. See what happens, so see, so this is, I have to go back here. Okay, now tell me before that, so I want to make this changes. Okay, see, probably, okay, one second. One second, I'll start. One second, I'll
बन सके ना Let's see this concept. This is a time travel concept. Let's see the same thing. Okay, in okay. okay. I'll explain this. Okay, see what happened. See, okay. So this is my exact table. See what happened. So see, this is my exact table. So requirement is that what okay, see from Pravin, I want to make it to Pravin Kumar. Tell me existing data I want to change. How can we change the existing data? Up by using update. Tell me. By using update statement. By using update statement. Okay, I see. With the help of update statement, so we can able to change. Okay, see what's the syntax? Update. Update. Uh, table name. Uh, see what we should use. Syntax is that what's set. Okay, so remember, these are important. You should should by heart. There is no other option. Compulsory should learn. Okay, see. Set name equal to what name they want put. So they want put. So Pravin. Kumar. Okay, see, Pravin Kumar. Okay, now what happens? See, so I have, so I am trying to update this statement. Uh, tell me how many records will get updated? All the records. Okay, see, all the records. What happens? See, so four records are see number of rows updated. Okay, see, what happened? Four records getting updated. But tell me, is it correct? Huh? We don't want four records. We want only one record. So what about the other session? Tell me, other session. What will happen? Data will be changed or it won't be changed? It won't be changed. Why? Because reason is that what? So see, data is not changed because so DMLs are not auto committable. Okay, okay. we should explicitly commit those changes. Now what happened? Tell me this changes we want or we don't want. We want to get previous committed data. How to revert the changes? Back okay, should go for rollback. Roll back. What the point is, see, rollback. Okay, see, now see data, we get data. Now, what is the requirement? They want to do only this particular record. Then, which console will come into picture? That's the filtering concept. We'll see the same thing tomorrow. See, filtering is nothing but what? Where there is specific. Remember, they want, they don't want all the records, they want only specific records. Okay, how to filter the specific records? Where? Other, okay, copy paste. Okay. Other number equal to so which other number? So they want to get so first the record. Copy the same thing and try to put here. So it will project all the columns and all the records, but they want only only one record. So see, so this record only they want to get one, two, three, four. So same thing, copy the same value and use. So don't use completely. If we complete what happened, so we'll get what happened. So four records, okay, we don't want four records. So we, we try to roll back the chain. Now what happened? So don't go for full thing. So go for what? So go for specific record. Specific record, how to get with the help of where class. Okay, see. Now how many cards will get updated? Only the condition matching. How many cards are matching? Only one record is matching. Now confirmations, Pravin Kumar. Now this changes, I want to save permanently. How can you save permanently? Commit mm -hmm. please. Is what? Is commit. 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 Okay, commit. Commit what will do? Data will be stored permanently. Now, what happened? This change record also will be available in the other session. See, it will get modified to Pravin Kumar. Okay, same thing. So, second task is that what? So, other, what's the second task? This one, they want to make it to Hyderabad. Okay, and Yahoo. So, they want to make Hyderabad under two calls. Tell me, can you perform two updates in a single statement? Two update columns? Yes. Is it yes. Okay, so we can go for okay. So link experience, try to line the same in case. Okay, so copy the same value. Okay, link experience, same link, try to line. Okay, now what they want? So they want only specific record. Okay, copy this record and paste here. So they want to do updating. Okay, so modification, go for update, 
copy paste control c control v so set okay set what they want to put okay they want to put address and email okay see address okay what address they want to put okay hyderabad if you put now what happened, love it for all the records, but you should go for filtering class. Fair condition. Fair condition. Okay, and see. So they want for update, set address. And one more thing they want what? Mobile. 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 Okay, email. So email. Okay. Email. Okay. So email what they want. So Raj at the rate. So you get current right to Okay, so Raj. Okay, now see what happened. Okay, see now requires that what will me so they want to get email and they want okay so Kumar at rate Yahoo dot okay. So Kumar at rate Yahoo dot com. Uh, tell me so for string no compass what we should put? Uh, tell me so first okay, so we should put here. So email address. So Okay, this is email. So what they want to put? So remember, so for strings, what we should put? We should put compass to include this single code. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now see, instead of writing two update statement, okay, see, this is same number. Instead of writing two update statement, how can I write the single thing? Simply what we should put? Simply comma. Okay, so comma. Okay, so if you want one more column, so see email. Okay, so in a single update statement, we can able to make it that. Don't, no need to write go for multiple update statement. If I want to get one more column, like mobile number. Okay, we can input okay. Go to the pointer with the comma. Okay, so, okay, we should put like this. Okay, go to the pointer. So we need to put instead of single update statement, okay, instead of writing multiple, see, I want to get email and I want to get address. Okay, instead of putting two things single, I can able to make it up. See, one row updated. Now take the same thing, process for the same thing. Okay, it is getting modified. Now commit what it will do, data will be stored permanently. Got the pointer. So see now. See what happened. Data will be out. See, we are having, we are not having, so we'll get the data, latest data, the committed data. We we'll get got it. Huh? Yes or no? Same thing. Go back here. One more thing. So third one, what is the third task? So they want to make the mobile number. Okay, how to make we'll go for DML. Okay, copy copy paste the same thing. So remember, everything will be there in the Google and just we should copy paste and we should tweak them. That's it. Okay. So what do you want? So we want specific record, okay. So specific record, copy the same thing. So put here, it also update here, okay. One second. One second. Okay, see what happened. Now see. Okay, so what are the requirements? So they want to modify what? So they want to modify only four number. Okay, see four number. Okay, see four number is nothing but what? So this mobile number. Okay. So see this mobile number. So put here. So what they want? So they want only so mobile number. Okay, so mobile number. So mobile number. So seven seven. Okay. Now tell me it's throwing error. Tell me what is this error? Anyone? What is error? Simple thing only. Mm, tell me. Column name. So, so. Invalid, invalid column name. So invalid column name. So how to see how to get list of column names? We should go for describe table. table. So remember, invalid mobile number is nothing but what? So okay, this column name is not there. Other spelling mistake. Okay, see what happened. Okay, see what happened. So try to copy the same thing. Try to put here. Okay, see this column name is not. If I put see what happened, this column name. So it's a spelling mistake. Okay, see we should understand. Okay, see. So what's saying? Saying invalid identifier, okay. So where is the invalid, so what happened? Okay, so see, try to exit. What happened, see, it's saying invalid identifier mobile number. It's getting highlighted in the sense like what? So this, uh, what is the thing? 
or what is the thing? So in the sense like what? So this column name is not available. Okay. So this is a spelling mistake. I said it is not available. Okay. So now wonder cut. So commit. So check cross verify the data one more time and commit so that so data will be stored permanently. Okay. So this is clear so far. Now what is the last one? So they want to remove this existing record. Uh, how to remove the existing record? Mm, tell me how to remove the existing record. We should go for which concept? Delete. Uh, we should go for what? Alter. Delete the alter. Alter is for what? So don't get confused. Alter for what? Definition. Definition. Tell me we want delete definition or no? We want to remove the existing data. Okay. How to remove the existing data? We'll go for what command? We'll go for delete, delete. Okay, so delete. Okay, so. So commit before this data. Okay. Now delete from our table. Okay. So what will happen? Tell me if I put it delete. And tell me. If I put delete, what will happen? Yes, no, anyone? All data will be deleted. So all delete the records will be removed. See what happened? See? Four records. What about our session? Records will be needed at the level, say records will be available right. because yeah. say DML. Okay, now what happened? I don't want these changes, I need to revert back. Then we'll go for rollback. Roll back. What is the requirement? I want to remove specific records. Okay, go for filtering cost. So go to the pointer. So we should, okay, see, we should go for specific records on. Okay, so put the where conditions. So copy the same thing. Okay, same thing. Now what happened? Now try to exit. What will happen? Tell me. What will happen? So, so only particular record only will get remote, remote. Now see, there won't be any record. What about here? Other session give there. Now I want to change this. I want to make this change permanently. What we should do? We should go for commit so that so data will be stored. For now three records will be there. Here also three records will be there. What point on clear so far? So this is fine. Okay. So so first I created one Snowflake account, SnowSite UI development database. Development schema, create one table, populate data with the help of insert statement. So commit this data, then they want to do updation, deletion. Okay. And so we should go for update and delete. And ultimately, I want to see this data. Now I am trying to truncate this table. See. Okay, see, truncate. There are three records are there. So truncate table, table name. Ah, tell me what will happen? Truncate will do. Delete. Okay, see, now when I exit now, so three records will get removed. Okay, now how many records will be there in the session? Three or zero? Three records. Three records because three records. truncate is also a DML, DML. DML. So we can able to reward this changes by using what? By using a rollback. Rollback. Okay, see, point is that part. So see, now data will be there. So clear so far? Okay, see what happened. Now tell me difference between Drop, truncate, and delete. Okay. What is the difference? Drop and delete whole table. Can you tell me? Delete is uh, delete is DML. Drop is drop and truncate or uh, DDL. Truncate is DDL. Yeah, just not discuss. Truncate is not DDL. Okay, so drop is a so drop is only DDL. Okay, so truncate. Is a DML. Okay, same thing. Delete is also DML. Okay, tell me what exactly a drop will do. It will remove database Instant. of this. Instant. So, structure as well as data. So, everything will be removed. Database of it will be removed. removed. Okay. Okay, what about uh, truncated DML? Okay, all records will get removed. Okay, all records. What about delete? So, it will remove all records. And also, okay. specific okay. record, particular okay. record also we can remember. Okay, got the point. See, so remember, so delete and truncate both will like same thing, but what happened? So truncate will remove all records. There is no, no specific records, no particular records is possible. Got the point. So there is no particular, particular records is possible. Whereas in delete, we can remove all records plus particular records. So it will be possible. Got the point. So drop is nothing but, so definition plus Data here only 
data. These two are only data. All records are specific records. Got the point? Mm -hmm. So drop is nothing but to remove all the records. To remove what? All the records as well as database. Entire database object will be removed from database. Truncate is nothing but what? Definition will be there. Only data will be removed. Now it's a truncate also DML. We can able to revert these changes. Then what is delete? What is delete? It is a DML. Mm -hmm. We can remove all the records or you can able to remove specific records. The condition match records will get removed. Got the pointer. So these are important. Okay. And I'll go for one more time. Okay. So these are very important. You see. So first to create one snowflake account, create multiple tables. You should be remember, you should be comfortable with this way. So remember, real time will work in the same use case or the same way. Okay. And one more thing will be there. What will be there in, in the paid version? What will have? House, this is what you are working. They are working on which way? And tell me, this is what you say. Which way? Classic console or snow set? Snow set. So, in the production, now what happened? So, we have the we have these things. What happened? This is classic console. So, if you switch, switch now, what happened? So, you get classic console UI will be open. Okay, so, so in the free version, we have only only what snow set. But in the production, we can able to switch from classic console or from this thing to this thing. Okay, got a point. So see, go back here. So same way it will work. But okay, see, companies are using as you know, snow set there is. Okay. So we'll have one button is there. Okay, we can able to navigate to snow set, classic console. Okay. Now we'll see one more use case. So see, this is so this is one table stock quantity price, and they want to get amount. Tell me how we are getting amount. What's the logic? Four fifty nine seventy five. What is the thing? Multiplying quality and price, quantity and price. Okay, simply they're trying to multiply quantity into price. Okay, the quantity. Okay, see what happens. So it's a multiplication. I'll try to create the same thing. Okay, we'll see the data. So you should do the task. Okay, so remember, okay, see? right? It should copy the same thing. Okay, now how to see this data? Now, this is DML compulsory should. So the data will be stored permanently. How to see this data by using select statement. Select this starts from our table. Okay. Now how many cards are there? So this is fine. But requirement is that what they want to get the extra column here. How to get the extra column? In one. Ah, tell me in one. No, no. Before that, extra. Oh, no, I want to display. Display only. I want. To. Okay. How to get? Simply what we should write. Ah, uh, quantity. Into into what price? Price. Okay, see. So stock quantity price. Okay. See, they want to get. Now they want to give one proper name. Okay. So we'll see the same thing. What is how to give the person? We are getting like this. I want to give one temporary name. So temporary name we should go for what concept? We should go for column alias. Okay. See what happened. So this heading is not good looking. I want to give one temporary name. That is amount. I can able to give. Yeah, we'll see the same thing tomorrow. Okay, see, like this way, you can put it. Got a point. Huh? So, stock, quantity, price, amount. Okay, so they want to get the same. Okay, got the point. Huh? Wait, wait. Now, question is that what? When you write here, this column will be added in the database. Huh? Anyone? When you write here, okay, see. Okay, no. tell me. Why, why no. you know? Now tell me why it won't add it. It's for only view actually. It's all on oh, the okay. top. Tell me what happened one more time. It's a selecting us remote. So select is nothing but what it won't get any impact in the database. See what happens for selecting purpose. Okay, I can write my name also. Oh, okay. Yeah. So no issues. Okay, I can do so hundred plus hundred or will what? Yeah. Two hundred will get. Okay. Got the pointer, so it won't get any impact. Got the pointer one second. Okay, so this is for displaying purpose only. Okay, so see our data will not be 
change. This is for selecting purpose only. In database, something is there for displaying purpose. I want to display, we can able to make it so like this. Okay, so now what happens? Suppose like requirement is that what I want to get this database column permanently. Okay, how to add a new column? How to add a new column? Mm, you should go for alter table Arcal. table name. Okay, see add what we should add. Amount is what data type. Say number data type. Now tell me new column where you will get added at the last last. Okay, see now what value will get populated by default for all these records? See, we'll get null value. Okay. We'll get populated. Okay. okay. Now what happened? They want to do like this. Okay. Now tell me how to do the update. How to do the existing records changes? We should go for what concept? Update. I want to change. We should go for update statement. So update uh, table name, uh, table name, uh, set, uh, set for amount equal to, uh, tell me, amount equal to what? Mm, what we should do? Quantity into price. That's it. Quantity. Quantity into price. Quantity into price. Into price. Okay, price. Into price. So where stock equal to t. Okay, now what happened? Tell me it worked. Huh? So see, it worked. Huh? It will give zero records. Why tell me why it's giving zero records? Anyone in any area? Any area? T is uh, lower case. Uh, so, is there, so this is so what is the data in the database is what is case. Since it is sensitive, sensitive. Sensitive what, see, we should give the same data. Okay, see, same data. Then only we'll get updated. If I put something like this thing, no, it won't get updated. Got the point of clear. So, see what happened. I am having five, six records. So, do you require six times updating? Huh? Do you write six times update statement? Huh? No, you can. Uh, no. So, simply what know. happened? So, see, instead of putting the where condition, simply what I should do? What I should do? Simply I'll try to. Remove this fair pen. Now, what happened? Tell me all the records we get quantity into price. Quantity into price. You see, get the one. So, we don't want to write separate separate because all are same only. Just we should multiply. See, we get six records. We get updated. Now, see the data. Okay, see, data will be clear so far. Let's get to the point, sir. So, we should not write because now we want to update all the records. So instead of writing six, six separate update statements, Simply, I am trying to comment this con comment comment this condition. We can able to get it done. Now, data we want to store permanently. How can you store? We should use commit so that data will be stored permanently in the database table. So it will be available in all the sessions. It will be clear so far. So like this one, you should practice. Okay, so got the point. So this is simple. But what happens? So see. So what are the concepts? So DLS said that is alter update statement filtering concept committing and fetching the data. Like almost like all the concepts have been covered. So try to create a simple table. So try to do select statement and go for update statement, commit the data and see in different situations. What are the point? Huh? Okay, yes, of course. Okay, so get in person. Like this you should work on. Okay. So do that as a case. So daily daily I'm saying see without doing class nothing we get. Okay. 